Yo YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the Jeep and Daily channel. As you can see, we are already at the shop. We are already digging in to the Jeep. My brother already started pulling at the rear floorboard. We went and got some steel. Now, the front I purchased floor pans for. The back, I mean, it's just a flat area, so why not save money and just buy flat steel to lay over everything? But as you can tell, that's the ground. This is the unibody. And this unibody is falling apart. So this is not by any means a rust-free Jeep. And this is definitely not the proper way to get it done. Look, I can see through the wheel wheel. Yeah, you can look. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and that's another thing. So we're gonna patch these floors back here and we're gonna do the cut and fold of the rear quarter. So what well, you cut it at like right where it starts to bubble, right? What? Or that's where you would fold in at is like right underneath the tail light or is it this one? It's this one here. Okay, so you cut below like back here just to fold that up and then well, obviously rotted, steel. Probably, well, this, well, this actually, one's that one's we can good. We probably save this one, but yeah. that side over there we're going to cut it completely out and just do a different piece to load in. So, so anyways, we're going to work on fixing or patching the floor back here. I did buy self tappers and also the chicken wire is in there because we're potentially going to cut holes in the hood and the chicken wire we need there so nothing can drop in there just mainly it's just going to be rain whatever it can get the motor can get wet um but yeah so the plan oh my god what? this tire is missing a ginormous chunk out of it welded diff problems my friends but I'm gonna go grab the shop vac and start cleaning some stuff up. We're gonna start getting some of the rust out. Um, and just real quick to note, XJ 33s, five speed, 355 axles, just waxed. What is it, a 2.0, 2.5? 2 2.0 Volkswagen. So if you ever need to know how fast or quick your four liter Jeep is on 33s, beat it by a car length from like a 15 mile an hour roll 20. 20 20 mile an hour damn i was in first gear at 20 20 mile an hour roll got waxed but let's get into the jeep turbo equals no bueno to turn back now well he started before i could pull the camera out but obviously he's going to start on these quarter panels which i mean people normally do this anyways especially because as you can tell like this side is rotted now i can tell you when i bought this jeep it was not rotted right there so that is what happens over time if you don't take care of your vehicle obviously mm -hmm. like this should be and there's just a chunk missing as you can tell we got the rear quarter panel area off and right now we're working on getting all the rust out so my brother's game plan is as you can tell he just cut everything out here there's a big hole so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of bend a piece of metal up here and self tap it in give it that kind of like a a body armor look and then we're just going to run one flat piece all the way across into the unibody and everything and as you can tell this area needs it <clears throat> so it's going to be one or two pieces across a piece down that way then we'll do the same thing on this side for this quarter panel. That one's going to be a little more difficult. Yeah, because what the hell is that for? Oh, that's gas for the tank. gas tank. Damn. Yeah. yeah. And then the hole there and then under the seats. And then it's not a lot left, but there's a lot left, even including the unibody. All right, so just for reference, we bought a eight by two piece of 
sheet metal it was 30 bucks um and my brother cut out a spot of 54 inches long and then made some cuts so it would fit in here kind of flush and around here he cut up and then made these notches and then cut up and then made these notches and we banged it down so the plan is we're going to from the outside of this wheel well we're going to self tap into these but first we're going to do the quarter panels then we're going to put this to the unibody and then work our way elsewhere but i mean it kind of looks good right now so i mean this is like a general idea of what it's going to look like except we're going to paint it all black or rhino line it all black all right so i made a sheets run while he was getting this off and right now he just cut out a piece to fill in this hole of the quarter panel all right guys so what the mad scientist has done was cut out a piece and made it fit here and we self tapped it in to give it to give it that body armorish look now i'm going to paint over it with some black undercoating as you can tell i sanded it down already we brake cleaned it off so i'm going to paint over that and then before we even get the self tappers into this side i'm going to clean it off really good again and then paint this side once we get a metal piece in there but as you can see we're starting to self tap this back area piece in so even around the wheel wells and everything and then whatever we don't finish today if we don't finish anything today there's always tomorrow and however long i keep the jeep the rust stuff doesn't need to be done to me before jeep week there's other stuff i'd rather get done before jeep week that's more important but we're still going to keep going at this anyways <laughs> Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, Trump. What? What are you waiting on? You gotta go up higher with the cardboard. Do it the whole way across so I can get it. Alright guys, that's gonna wrap up today's session. I was gonna make today and tomorrow all one video, but I'll just make this video now and then make another one tomorrow. But... I hope you can hear me over the exhaust. Everything is self-tapped in. Um, we're st we still have stuff to finish on the floor from that first part that we added in. And then we're gonna paint it in, um, on the top side, the underside. And then that should be done for now. We're gonna, eventually we'll get to this spot on the unibody. Wanna rev it? But before we close this out, let's get a nice exhaust from back here. <laughs> it's so loud, my ears. Well, as always, follow my brother on Instagram. Thank you. We'll be back tomorrow with some more fixing stuff. It should not take as long. Today we kind of took our time dicked around whatever plus he just wanted to make this spot hold on hold on pull out the flashlight that don't do shit he really wanted to make this spot look good again because that is where the uh, filler is for the uh, gas tank so we used the factory piece for that and he made it fit and look well in there again but I'll get better video tomorrow when we all when it's all said and done but that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed more prep for Jeep Week slash some more rust repair on the Jeep, leave a thumbs up. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.